what are you waiting for? Come join the Geek Drums Nation. What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be, well at least I will be ranking the worst characters from Black Lightning as a whole. Um, I guess it wouldn't even be a ranking because I'm not putting this in any particular order. I just recently finished my uh, rewatch binge of Black Lightning. Uh, you know, the entire series seasons one through four. And uh, I noticed some new things about it. I noticed some new things that I liked and some things that I did not like. Uh, particularly a lot of characters that just like pissed me off to no end so yeah we're gonna dive right into this list remember this is my list and my list never misses because well it's my list so i mean what what more could you want right just uh let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me or if you disagree with me let's have a discussion about this and as always you can become a channel member you can like share and subscribe share this around to your friends family if you are black lightning fans know any black lightning fans guys uh join me in this community become a geek drums member today all that good stuff become a subscriber all that good stuff but uh without further ado let's jump into this um you know right off the bat i just want to get this one out the way there's two of them i want to get out the way first up is uh lynn stewart why am i putting lynn on this list well uh because from season one she was just she, she was just a uh a, a pain like honestly she complained about everything constantly wanting to call uh jeff wanting to use his powers in addiction why wouldn't you want to use your powers if you had them you know complaining about everything every little thing uh getting addicted to green light wanting to work with the asa even uh you know after jeff urged her not to because something seemed off then in the final season it got even worse yes jeff was going through something yes she wanted him to open up about it he didn't want to open up about it but she just kept pressing him and pressing him and pressing him and yes as a spouse i guess that is what you're supposed to do but you know just blaming him for what happened to jennifer and all, all of this other stuff lynn was not a good character in my opinion um we see so many spouses and you know partners throughout these superhero shows and sometimes they're good partners sometimes they're not lynn stewart was not a good partner for jefferson pierce you know sometimes she was but majority of the time she was not i'm just being honest a lot of her screen time during this rewatch, it just pissed me off because she was always complaining about something. She was always complaining about something. And, uh, but I mean, do you guys agree with me? Let me know. Uh, next up, Jennifer Pierce. Jesus. Jen, and yes, I get it. She's your typical teenager. But it's like, <laughs> it's just like at the drop of a hat, she's going to change up what she does. And I get she's a typical teenage girl but she's a teenage girl who is literally the most powerful meta on this show the most powerful meta in freeland uh she wanted to use her powers her parents wouldn't you know well at first she didn't even want the powers she called them a curse she talked her mom into helping her cure them and and that caused tension between jefferson and uh her mom you know that that caused tension so that was something that she did found out she had these powers found out that uh jefferson was black lightning and anissa was thunder and yada yada, yada. she didn't want to help at all but then you know she had a complete 180 change of heart wanted to use the powers okay cool season two couldn't control them so she started you know just being homeschooled and all this other stuff complaining you know just complaining about everything and i get it being a teenager you want to be out with your friends you hear about all this stuff going on on the news you know you want to be with your friends you want to go to school but your parents are keeping you sheltered okay cool so she finds out what tobias did to khalil right ripped her spine out all of a sudden she has vengeance she wants to go kill okay your dad has a no kill rule dog let it go it's a no kill rule you still go against what your parents say and yes guys i completely understand she's a teenager but everybody's telling her you have to try to use her strength you have to try to be responsible that went in one ear and out the other her character arts went from maybe i'm on their side to oh no i'm just gonna kill him with the uh with the asa season three she was all for what she was all for what odell was doing all for what odell was doing which pissed me off i did not realize how he was manipulating her and now she just wasn't seen if your parents if you're well not even your parents if your father and your sister 
is against it. They're actively working with the resistance. They're working with the resistance to stop what's going on. There's no way in the world that you can think that uh, occupation, martial law in your town is a good thing just because, oh, yeah, this guy says the Markovians are coming. Yes, they were a threat. But the ASA and all of these soldiers were a threat as well. And for you to not realize that until it was too late because Odell let you know where the soldiers were that beat up your dad. Oh, you, you didn't realize that until you had a out-of-body experience during crisis. You didn't realize that. Then when you came back, oh, we got to go kill Odell. Why is your first thought murder? Please tell me that. Why is your first thought always murder? But yeah, I... I, I I, I just could, I couldn't vibe with Jennifer. Then the whole thing with going up to the ionosphere and them telling her not to. Hell, even the fake Jen was annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. But yeah, she was very annoying. Very annoying. So next up, next up would have to be, <laughs> would have to be the two ASA agents, Commander Carson Williams and Sergeant, well, and Major Sarah Gray. Why do I say they're annoying? I, I just hated the ASA. I hated how tough that they wanted to. And that could just be the acting. But they just wanted to be so tough. The way Carson would just call them people meta. Like saying like it was a cuss word. Like Jefferson called him out on. Like, bro, you're a meta too. You, you can't be... You can't be that deep in your denial. You can't be that stupid. And then with with Major Gray, she just wanted to be tougher than what she was. She she wanted to be she wanted to be it. When she got that little bit of power, when Odell was hurt, oh, that was her all day. That she had so much fun. She was doing any and everything, reversing kill orders on the pierces with painkiller and you know uh putting chips in people trying to chip all these kids you know so they can control them she put a chip in erica moran that girl wants nothing to do but just be happy and run around and be invincible like so yes they they were two of the most annoying characters in season three as well so next up let's just let's guys let's just jump uh, uh, jamila olsen oh my god that horrible horrible doppelganger of jimmy the horrible doppelganger of james i'm glad that when the earths merged well she ended up getting unalived you know uh she was so annoying sticking her nose where she had no business you know getting the news out that's a good thing getting the news out but after jefferson and them lost tavon and she brought it upon herself to just ambush them with a interview she uh, the whole thing with anissa using anissa you know basically getting a getting a little you know getting some she, she decided to get some in order to try to get a story out of anissa like you're the definition of a helicopter reporter but you're bad at your job you are very bad at your job jamila olsen was one of the worst additions to black lightning season three again my opinion you can completely disagree with me but that's how i feel next up Dr. Helga Chase. First of all, she used black voice a few times, and it was actually quite hilarious and bad at the same time. She wanted to be the toughest person in the room. Yes, she's the one who created the serum for Tobias to forever look young and all the good stuff. She took the serum as well. She was a freaking genius. Nobody is taking that away from her. She was just annoying as all good out. She was not she was not a good character to me yes i know she's from the comics but the version that we got on young justice is leagues better it's also weird because her and black lightning were dating but that's a story for another time story for another time but yes helga jace and black lightning was so annoying the fights between her and lynn were hilarious though you know two basically two genius scientists in the same room and you know two egos colliding lynn wants to do the right thing helga jace can give two flying doodles about these kids um shenanigans ensue i guess but yes hilga jace is on this list next up you knew she was coming angela freaking lopez your whole reason for hating medicine is because of what happened to your husband so you target lightning for no reason you get manipulated by Tobias Whale. So then when Lightning records you 
and exposes your bigotry to the world, you say, let me shoot up and get energy absorption power. Now, that whole final scene was cringe. It's cringe as ever. Season four was not the best for the show. By a long shot, it suffered from the season four curse. Um, although it never got to recover because it was the final season. But Angie Lopez, God, what? First of all, she the actress overacted so much. I don't know why they didn't tell her to reel it in. Trying to be this tough cop, this tough police chief. That's not how Bill Henderson was, bro. Like, that's what made her annoying to me. And I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me. She was not a likable character at all. The unfair hate that she was throwing towards Lightning, uh, like when the mayor was killed, um, she says this is Lightning's fault, but Lightning was nowhere near her or the mayor when, uh, you know, when he was shot. We all know that that meta who could control metal red. We all know that he was in charge for that. So what was the point of her blaming lightning? Bad writing, a bad character, all in one. And again, remember, she shot up with meta genes to take down lightning, which was dumb as ever. <laughs> like, what? Ugh. Black Lightning season four was it was something but there is one more character on this list that I just cannot absolutely stand and it is the variant of Geoforce the variant of Brion Markov Brandon Marshall this kid was literally just male Jennifer one track mind the entire time I have to kill Jace. I have to kill Helga Jace because Helga Jace killed my mom. You know, that is honorable. But when you try to level the building that everybody is in, including your friends, your team, it makes you an idiot. You have a one track mind and no wonder why nobody trusts you. Sergeant Grail made it his mission to keep you in line. He had to knock you out because you were trying to kill Jace. And again, you didn't even get to kill Jace. Amanda Carson killed Jace. I hate that guy too, but I already mentioned him. But yeah, you didn't even get to do it. And then you just vanish. I mean, I guess the actor was busy for the fourth season. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I guess between him and Jen, like their one track minds of just revenge and vengeance were just like annoying as hell. Annoying as hell, guys. I am sorry. Brandon Marshall was not a good character. Jennifer Pierce was not a good character. I'm not even going to say not good character. They were just annoying. They, everybody on this list is annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. They just, I just got irritated re-watching their scenes. Like, honestly, I got really, really, really irritated. Like, it's characters on Black Lightning that I freaking love. Lala. Bias, um, Lady Eve, Jill Scott did a thing, Peter Gamby, Anissa, Grace, Jefferson himself. It's characters on the show that I love, but like, every, it's I, I should do a list like this for every show because it's characters that I can't stand on every show, like on The Flash. Can't stand Allegra, <laughs> Jesus, can't stand her. Also, I cannot stand Chill Blank. But those are, I, I'm going to make a list about, I'm going to do a list about that, guys. Guys, let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with my picks. Remember, my picks, my list. Let me know yours. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Please, please, please tune in tomorrow. We have Party Nation. We're going to have some fun. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.